Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Thank You Today, and today what we're doing, well boys and girls, we're back on Ark Survive Evolve, that's right, we're back on here, and what we're doing on Ark Survive Evolve, well, I'm glad that you asked. Today we are doing a mod review of a very powerful and very awesome mod called the Primal Fear mod, um, both with description and the thumbnail that's gonna give it away, yep, that's what we're doing. But there's a few things I want you guys to know about before you do pick this mod up. Is that you must have the main mod itself to able to play the extinction packs, which is Scorch Earth, um, Aberration, Extinction, Genesis Part One, even the Dodo pack, and also the extra dinosaur pack for this mod. You must have the main mod. And if you guys want to pick this mod up, it will be down below in the description. I will leave a link to Steam so that way you guys can go ahead and go pick this mod up if you want to as well. And remember, the very top mod. That's going to be inside the mod Steam link is the main mod you must have if you want to play the the extra add-ons to this mod pack. So do keep that reminder. Do keep that in check that you do need the first very first mod to play the other extensions for this mod. But today, let's uh, get right into today's video. And today, I'm going to be covering a couple of the uh, um. Structures here, the armor, and also some of the guns and weapons, and all the creatures behind us. So, let's look. Oh, actually, first of all, tank, let's look at this armor. Because we did to, uh, what was it? Anuki Genesis. This is alpha tier armor, and this is basically your first um, flak armor that you're probably more likely going to be getting your hands on. So, yeah. We have the. Well, helmet, which has 1,200 durability and then 200 armor. Same thing with the, the chest and the legs and the boots and along with the gauntlet. Now, let's check the next tier of armor, which is Apex armor, which is the next tier up from Alpha. Which this uh, mod does have a tier system, so if you really don't like mods that has like powerful, very, very powerful creatures in it, this is not going to be the mod for you, but if you do, you are definitely going to enjoy this mod. But this is the uh, Apex armor, which has around 2,400 durability and around 300 armor. So as you can see here, again, it looks really beautiful and I do like it. The next armor we got is the Apex Primal armor. Not Apex, we just did Apex attack. So get it right. This one does look like it has a little bit of the black in there and the red as well. So it's really nice looking, I gotta say. Really cool looking, uh, but what's the durability of this armor and also the armor itself? Armor is 400, just 100 more than the Apex, but the durability is around 7,200. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. I mean, it is a very cool looking armor set, but I guess maybe let's look at something else. The guns. First of all, we got the Primal Fabricator Sniper Rifle. Uh, this gun does shoot uh, regular um, sniper bullets as well, which this mod does come with its own bullets, which I, I didn't get to spawn any in for any of the weapons, but it does have some, which we'll be taking a look at it inside that smithy right there, uh, but definitely not. Oh, uh, wait, I forgot to say one thing too. There was one bullet for this gun, and it, like I said, we'll see some of the bullets inside there, uh, but there is, um, knockout, narcotic bullets for this gun. And there was one that was like a one-shot knockout bullet. Uh, the mod developer, they got rid of it. So, yeah. Uh, but there is some for the arrows. There is some for arrows. So, we'll cover that soon. Then, we got the next weapon, which is the Pump Action Primal Shotgun. Which, again, it looks really nice. Uh, all these guns are basically your green and black color. Which, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I do think it's really nice. Uh, like I said, I don't have no ammunition spawned in for them, but uh, we're cool. Next is our Primal Rocket Launcher, which again, green and black. Which, there's also some rockets that you can unlock by killing some of the, um, Titan bosses, which is in this mod. Uh, which you can basically get some new rock. I did have a rocket for that. Oh. I only one rocket. <laughs> Must have accidentally spawned that in. Well, accidentally, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but, next weapon of our choice is not that. 
It is the Primal Pike, and this thing is poisonous, so this will knock things out. It will take a couple hits and stuff, uh, but it's not a single one-shot hit knockout thing, which I don't see anything around me to worry test that on. But we have another weapon, which is the Primal Compound Bow, which I do have one arrow for it. Let's go see here. Boom. Yeah. Again, it, the only thing that's different about this, it does have the different colors, and there is also different other arrows that you can get for it as well, like the Aldrin Primal Toxic Arrow as well, which is a one knockout shot arrow. Um, so yeah. And last but not least is this weapon, which is the... What is this weapon called? The Primal Harpoon Launcher, which I do have one around for it. But yeah, that is all the weapons for Primal Fear, or at least all the weapons I spawn in. Uh, there is probably a lot more weapons that is inside the mod, so yeah, do keep that in mind. But let's get into the structures. Uh, the first thing is the Primal Tech for, uh, Force Field. This thing does look pretty freaking cool. Um, it does take element to unlock, which I didn't put no element in it, but it does have 100 slots. Um, it, it, it probably just does what a normal force field does. I've never really got to mess with tech and arcs arcs um, at all. But that's it for that because there's not really much to really go over about that. Our first test here is the Primal Preserving Bin. This thing has 300 slots and how did you use this is that you have to kill some fire and ice dinosaurs to get feathers and to put inside this preserving bin. Um, it will take one feather within 15 minutes, so you'll be losing one feather, but it would also have a longer duration of uh, preserving of stuff like regular um, meat, prime meat, and berries, and uh, just your veggies, and all of that, because you're really going to need a veggies, and you're going to really need a farm for this type of mod to really go over this mod. But... We're not going over this yet. We're going to be going over the Primal Food Cooker, which it has around a thousand slots. Um, as you can see, there's a few things that you can do in here. I bet you can cook regular meat and prime meat in here as well. So, yeah. Uh, but we do have some of this stuff. We have the Super Dino Food. We have the Dino Treat Ice, Dino Treat Fire, Dino Treat Electric, and Dino Treat um, Caustic. Not sure what does do. Never worry. Really that's from that. Uh, we have the Toxic Veggie Cupcakes, the Alpha Egg Salad, the Celestial Omelet, and the Dimotic Omelets. Hmm, Omelet sounds delicious right now. But that is basically it for this part of the mod, or actually that table. Next is our Primal Tech Bench, which this thing brings in some really cool and strong creatures. Uh, what you can do with this is that you can craft a whole bunch of tech Creatures which has cool abilities like a Glash ability, uh, but we have the Primal Tech Stego, Primal Tech Skiff, which is not really a creature, but still. We have a Primal Tech uh, Tuso, a Primal Tech Enforcer, Primal Tech Magmasaur, Primal Tech uh, Trike, a Primal Tech Woolly Rhino, Ooh, that's cool, a Primal Tech uh, Raptor, Primal Tech Quetzal, a Primal Tech Parasaur, Primal Tech Mosa, ooh, I love Mimosa, and a Primal Tech uh, Giga and Primal Tech Rex. Which these guys, if you do find them out in the wild, you can kill them and get a blueprint of them, which it does uh, differ on what one, uh, I think the higher the level, better the blueprint of it and stuff, so yeah. But it's very, very expensive because you do have to craft all of these right here, and yes, you're going to craft like tons of this and stuff, but if you have your resources up to pretty high, like maybe, I don't know, five times, I have mine always at five times and stuff, but yeah, you also have the different types of saddles, you can have the tech saddles and regular saddles for each creature, uh, which is not hard to get that resources for the saddles, uh, modules, which will help boost both the health of the creatures, the uh, speed, the melee, you get a force field, and a whole bunch of other stuff for it, personal transformations, uh, which you have a tech drone and a PTERO, which I'm not sure what that is, but uh, we'll probably find out someday once we start playing this mod. But that has won 1,500 slots, and next table is the Primal Genesis Bench, which has 1,000 slots, um, which I bet you all the only thing you're doing here is craft the uh, Genesis stuff, like 
the magma sword platform. Oh, that's a magma sword. That's, I know if they don't get a saddle like that, so it's just this mod as well. So you can also get that. Uh, the structures, you can get different structures in here that comes with the Genesis X, uh, pack. It's not much really that big idea, so yeah. And then weapons, we got primitive weapons, uh, we got that. And then range weapons, which is the mining drill. So, yeah. Not that bad, not that bad. Next is your Primal Refining Forge, which gets 8 slots in it. Which you can switch it from being electric or fuel. Uh, depending on which way you want it. Um, it will... Uh, of course, use wood, thatch, or spark power, or electric, if that's what you want to use. And also, I think it burns faster, so meaning free. Speaking, if you're putting raw metal in here, you don't have to worry about the metal going very slowly in the vanilla forge. So this will definitely make your metal go a lot more faster in a lot of different ways. A lot more better. A lot more better than vanilla forge. Then we have the uh, Primal Industrial Forge, which again, you can switch it from gas to electric, uh, depending on which way you want to do it. And this has around 60 slots or more slots. And this one does it also a lot more faster too. I think this one, if you're used to the vanilla version, I think I gotta say this one is basically Industrial Forge, just on steroids. So yeah, that is all the... Oh wait, I forgot one more other thing to go over. Over here is the Primal Smithy, which it has 1,000 slots to it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do in here. Uh, the different um, expansion packs and stuff like that can be created in here. Uh, you do have the armor, which you got the metal, which is the alpha tier, apex tier, primal tier. And then you have Misco, which is the gas mask or primal gas mask. I'm not sure if we're going to be using that. I will go over the bosses once we're done with everything else. Consumables, you got drugs, uh, you got endodotics, which is the bio version antidote. Uh, narcotics, you got different types of narcotics. You got potent narcotics, you got toxic narcotics, you got alpha narcotics, apex uh, infused narcotics. Uh, primal infused narcotics and also origin uh, infused narcotics, which this is the one shot knockout narcotics that you're definitely going to want. But there's a lot of grinding to get that. Uh, so I will be telling you guys how to get that. And we have 10 rounds, we got 50 times, a 100 times, a 200 times, and a 500 times taming helpers, which is going to come real handy if you're trying to tame things. Wake up potions. Pretty much pretty simple. What do you expect? It wakes your dinosaur up or anything that you're trying to do a wake up. Potions. Food. You got a food potion which fills your belly up if you're hungry. And then you got health potions. You got the health stew. Um, you got the alpha health potions. The apex health potions. And the fable health potions. And there's one more thing. I could be wrong. Please mistake me if I am wrong in the comments down below. But there is also Origin Health Potions, I think they're called, uh, which able to get those, you must kill bosses to get those. So they are very hard to get. Then we have the Reaper Queen, uh, Reprint? Reprint? Uh, whatever. Uh, but still, stuff like that. Then you got the different saddles for every single different creatures. You got that. Alpha. Apex. Boss creatures, you got the Alpha tier, you got the Apex, Chaos, Spirit, and Vanilla. I guess you could obtain Vanilla kind of bosses. Buffoon creatures, there is Buffoon, these things are just ridiculously crazy. Celestial creatures, Chaos creatures, uh, Chaos and Spirit creatures, Demonic creatures, Elder creatures. Uh, and Metal, you get the different types of creatures here, like the Parrot and stuff. Even Griffin's get saddles, Fable creatures, Legendary creatures, Melon creatures, wherever those are, Omega, Pirates, which is one of the guys we got spawned in, and Rufto, wherever this thing is. And then we also have Spirit creatures, and also Tech saddles, and Toxic creatures, along with the Vanilla sta saddles, but mostly you could use the 
Vanilla Smithy the Craft Sales as well. We also have Discover from Ice, Tyrant Shores, Rex Saddle, and a Eldrin Mega or Minigun? Framework? Okay. Um, after that, we got different the uh, different structures, the electric, which is defense, which means we have the auto cannon or auto current, the forges. We can craft either one of the forges in your parentry. Uh, the primal tech one, as you can see, not that bad of resources, but yeah, you come rise and we know it as well. Then you get the weapons, you get the different types of ammo, uh, the regular rocket launcher right here, and the regular primal shotguns. Then you got arrows, you got the potent trank arrows, uh, you got even the in primal and uh, endurance metal arrow. Uh, you also have the primal tech. Primal Metal Arrow, uh, you also have uh, Frag ones, you also have the Toxic Trank ones, and then you have the Alpha, Apex, Primal, and the Origin, which I said, it's very expensive to get that, and will be pretty much something that you're going to have to work towards. You got Spear Bolts, you got different types of Spear Bolts here, you have to also have the Trank ones, I uh, know one Knockout Shot one, sadly. Then we have bullets, again, different types of bullets, regular bullets, even trank bullets. Then we have regular darts, which again, always way up to primal darts. No simple one knock out darts, which will go for the long neck rifle. Then you got melee, which is the primal pike. And then range is these two weapons right here. And then let's go to bosses. And you're probably wondering what this is. This is something to help you to enforce transformations. Uh, which, if you just see there, you need a Celestial Ascended item and a Demonic Descension item. Which helps descend or ins ascend one of your Demonics or your Celestial creatures. But, we have bosses. The different tiers of bosses. Tier 2. And you gotta kill these creatures to able to get the Origin Blood. Which will give you... Also, I think Origin uh, Health Potions, like I said, these things have a lot of health. You can find these creatures out in the wild too, and as you can see too, they are going to need some blood and some artifacts. So, either you're going to have to go for artifact hunting, or you're just going to have to have a artifact. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of artifacts with that thing. And that, and that, that's, those three guys are from the expansion pack, but... Still, you're going to need something to give you a lot of different artifacts in this mod. Then, you unsecure them, and then you can go to the next tier of bosses, which is tier 3 bosses, which is the Demonic Reaper and Celestial Idominus Empress Rex. Then, tier 4 is your next tier, which you move into the Celestial, the Spirit, and the Chaos Dinosaurs. And as you can see, it takes a lot of things to get these guys. And then also you can fight this guy, which will give you artifacts, uh, which is a pretty cool thing. But you do have to kill, um... Well, actually, no. You really don't have to kill any of the origin creatures. So you can just go ahead and fight this guy. Um, so yeah. Then next... Uh, oh, wait. Wait, did that. Is tier 5 bosses, which we have the Nova, the Destroyer, and Pecan, the Creator, and plus... Uh, Skynet, which is a very powerful machine, which you could also get a tameable version of him. I think you have to kill him, and then you can get the tameable version. Just like, um, you could tame these two as well, but tier 5, you could have these two, they will lay egg once they die, and also these two will give you a summoning, uh, version as well, so you can send them at, where you can tame them. Though, keep in mind, that though, you, they will not summon as tame, you do have to knock them out. But then you have these ones, you have the Electric Colossus, the Ice Colossus, the Fire Colossus, the Caustic Colossus, and the two other ones, which is the Daimonic Reaper Empress boss, and also the Celestial Indominus Emperor boss, which is Tier 6, and then Tier 7, which is the final two bosses, where if you're just playing this without the extension, it will just pick on the Creator, or pick on the Revenge boss, and then you also have Nova Revenge, but this is the original Primal Fears boss. So even with that said, that is everything in this smithy. 
um, everything that you might want to know about. There's probably other things I'm probably going to be missing in this mod, but still, very much do so. Now, I'm going to go show ahead, show you guys this guy, Captain Black Boulder. I did spawn everything at level 1, so do keep that in mind, but he does have around 328,000 health. Oh, oh, the game is doesn't want me to look at Captain Boulder. But as you see, Captain Boulder in his glory, of course we get like this punch, and he can fire his cannons rapidly fire them. And my PC does not like it. Uh, but still, let's look at his stats and I press the wrong button. Or okay, so his stamina has like 3,000 stamina, 6,600 into weight, and then like 120 into movement speed. And of course, 193.3 into melee. And that's basically it. He has been sitting here, and remind you, if you do have your world boosted with the levels, he won't be a level 1, he'll probably be a lot higher level, but I'm just playing as level 1s to show you guys um, what these guys can be and can look like. But that is Captain Black Boulder uh, in his gloriness, uh, greatness, see? But we're going to go up here because I think Captain Black Boulder, uh, I'm not sure how to not. I think you must kill one and then you'll get something to actually capture. Uh, but we'll be doing a playthrough series of this mod sometime in the future. But let's go ahead and get to, to the different tiers of creatures here. And the first one is a vanilla dodo. You really don't want to know much about this thing because it's just a vanilla dodo. Which is what you're going to need to tame the first tier, which is toxic creature. Which I spawn in one creature of each tier. So yeah, we have the toxic uh, frog, which how much of you got by? 660.6 and 2 health, and he does have a normal, the normal tax that you expect what a normal regular frog does get. But let's look at his other stats. He has 660.6 into health, 570 into stam, uh, 480 points into weight, 556.1 into melee, and 200 into movement speed. And this is a toxic creature, which I think will also help you knock out other creatures if you're wanting to tame other creatures within the mod. There's other versions of it, there's also raptors and carnals, I think, and a whole bunch of other types of toxic creatures that you can tame. Uh, instead of just a frog, I just spawned a frog again because I think it would be cool to look at a frog um, in the toxic tier. Next tier is your alpha tier, which I again spawned in the alpha corner as a level 1, and he has around 2.1 thousand into health as a level 1. Again, I spawned these guys in, so yeah. He has a normal bite, headbutt, C does nothing, X does nothing, Z does nothing, so yeah. Let's look at his stats. So he has 2,100.6 into health, 1,500 points into um, Stam, 1,500 into weight, 296.7 into melee, and 115 points into stamina. Or movement speed, not stamina. <laughs> Don't know why I said that for. And next is going to be, which of course he is, the alpha deer. Next will be your, what, how many is there? Four elemental creatures. Which is going to be your elemental creatures that you're going to want to tame. Uh, the first one is the Caustic Mega Raptor. There's a few other versions of this creature out there, I think, but yeah. He has 6.5 thousand into health. And these guys can fight. Can I even get close to him to ride him? He does have a normal bite. Nothing there, nothing for C, nothing for X, and nothing for Z. But let's look at his other stats as well. He has 6,500.6 into health. 1,475 points into stamina, 1,045 into weight, 463.5 into melee, and 300 into movement speed. And it looks like for some reason, let's have gotten into a fight because he got some stuff. But yep, this is the toxic creature, which is, a, I think, a, a creature can do tour for as well. Next is our ice parrot. He has 6.5 thousand into health, 
And let's go into K-Mode, see his different attacks. He does have a regular bite. And then that right there, X does nothing, C does nothing, Z does nothing. And let's look at his other stats. So he has 6,500.6 into health, 1,475 into stam, 1,200 into weight, and 383.4 into melee damage, and 100 into movement speed. But it's pretty cool to have a gigantic prayer that if you want to ride as well, which he is a ice creature. I don't think he does any like ice prepping. Can I get through? Thank you. Uh, to creatures. Next is your electric feather light, which, like I said, I think uh, these guys do have like other like creatures in their tiers, but yeah, I just spawned these guys in. This guy has 7.2 thousand into health, so pretty nice. Let's go into K mode. There's the regular bite. There's that electric attack, which is pretty cool. C. Oh, that's pretty nice, too. Ah, X does nothing. That does nothing. And let's look at his stats now. He has 7,200.6 into health, uh, 1,650 points into um, charge capacity, which is your stamina, uh, 900 into weight. 516.4 into your charge and potion range, which is basically your melee, and 230 points into movement speed. Uh, do keep in mind, this is basically a feather light, a uh, light pet from Operation. But, moving on to that, from that, to your next creature, which is the fire creature, which I spawned in, a fire griffin, uh, which looks really cool. He does have this attack, normal attack. Oh, wait, I think I do that, do that, guys. He has around 8.9 thousand into health. So, let's get back on him. Let's go back into game mode again. He does have the regular melee. Uh, there's nothing there. Right click, C, X, Z, does nothing. So, I guess let's look at his stats. So, he has 6... 8,937 points into health. Uh, 1,875 into stamina. 2,102 weight, 231 points into melee, and 154.5 into movement speed. And that is, of course, your wonderful, wonderful Fire Griffin. And next is your next tier of creature, which is the Apex tier, which again, I spawned in the Apex. But your Onyx, he has 4.4 thousand health, which is not bad for this guy. But let's get on him. Let's go into K mode. We got a normal regular berry attack. This there's nothing but right click, C, taunt, X does nothing, Z does nothing, and now let's look at his stats. For his health, he has 4,400.6 into health, 300, 300, 3,250 3, into stamina, 3,250 into weight, and 513.3 into melee, and 145 into movement speed. So yeah, and he, I bet he does have the same attacks he does underwater, so that does keep you nice and cleared. And after you're done with Apex tier, you got the advanced um, elemental creatures, which you have the Dark Griffin and the Light Griffin. And they both look really, really beautiful. And also the Griffins, of course, like always in art, you could always use a weapon on the back of them. Which I would recommend using the Griffins for taming stuff in this mod. But the Dark Griffin has a regular swipe ability, nothing for right click, nothing for C, C or X or Z. There might be other abilities I don't know about, but for now, let's look at the stats. It looks like he has 17,550 into health, I'm thinking. I don't think I said his health, did I? Yeah, 17,000.5 into health, so I'm basically saying that health before I even know it, but that's how much health he has. Uh, 3,500 into stamina, uh, 39, is that 39? No, it's not. 3,920 into weight, 212.6 into melee, and 158.5 into movement speed. Which griffins aren't, well, they're, they're sort of fast, but they're only fast when they're doing their glide abilities more. I mean, that's my opinion, but, yeah. The, uh, Dark Griffin. Really awesome looking, I really do like that, how that thing looks. Next is your Light Griffin, which he is so shiny. Again, he has 17,000.5 and 2 health. 
and not F, K mode. Nothing, say that's your spider swipe, so nothing really too much differences between the other two griffins, unless there's a special ability that I don't know yet. Which again, once I do a playthrough, I will probably figure more things out through a playthrough. F, let's look at the south. We already said the south, so I don't know why I keep on saying it south, but it does have 17,000 17, health, um, 3,500 into uh, stamina, 3,920 3, into weight, around 216.6 into melee, and 158.5 into movement speed. And again, these are just level 1s. Uh, okay, I was going to say, what the frick's going on under arc? <laughs> uh, but these are just level 1s, so they will be higher levels if you do have the level cap up a little bit more higher in your world. Next creature of the list is the Fable Creatures, which I spawn in a Fable Anki. He has 11,000.2 into health. And I'm thinking by just regular Fable Anki. He can break rocks. He has a bite ability. Does nothing for C or X. Or there. Okay, very loud creature. But it's a regular Anki. What do you expect? That's Anki. Why did Anki? Okay, so yeah, he got some salt and stone and flint. But like I said, he has 11,000 to health, uh, 2,800 into stam, uh, 16,000 into weight, which is what you expect for Anki. Um, 593.5 into melee and 275 points into movement speed. It's an Anki, so it's not going to be the best of speeds, but yeah, pretty nice. Next is your Omega Dinosaurs, which we spun and summoned in the Omega Allosaurus. 8.2 thousand into health, which is very freaking cool. We got a normal bite. We have this bite. We have... C, which is a war, X does nothing, Z does nothing. Again, there could be other special abilities that I'm missing, that I don't really know. But, uh, let's go ahead and go into it. Like I said, it's 8,000 health, around 3,250 into stam, uh, 4,940 4, into weight, and 224.5 into melee, and 90 into movement speed. So, yeah, these guys might hit just like a, like a truck, so keep that in mind, man. Next is our next tier of boss, which is Daimonic and Celestio, which is the two very coolest creatures I can say in this mod, and it's starting to get darkish out for some reason. Hang on, guys, we me set time of day. Oh, wait, I don't even have to do it. Never mind. I guess it's just a dark, dark area. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, uh, but we have around 295,000 in health with the, the Dimaric Parasaur. And... Why am I going to H? Okay, okay, whatever. We got normal bite. We got the sonar. We got C, which... A flame ability. X. And, yep. <laughs> that's what was, that's the thing I wanted to show you guys right there. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this too much, but there we go. We got that. We got that, and that is nothing. That's that's it. Okay. Um, and there's also there should be a power up mode, but I'm not sure what button to press. But uh, yeah, like I've said, by the health, uh, we got have 105,000 to stamina, 8,500 to weight, 802.1 into melee, and 217 uh, points into movement speeds for this parasaur. This is a very awesome creature, and again, very nice to have uh, to have around. Next is your Celestial Creatures, which I swam in, in this Celestial RG. We got one 130,000 into health, and he is powered down, as you can see what it says for the demonic as well. Uh, these creatures can be powered up, I'm not sure what the, what the button is, like I said. Once we do a playthrough, we'll figure out the buttons together. So, the Sorcery RG, we got a regular attack right there. Nothing for right click, C. Oh, what was that? Can we do it again? There must be a little bit of a cooldown. X does nothing and Z does nothing. So, there might be a little bit of a cooldown for C. Oh, 
Yep, okay. Yep, there we go. If there is a cooldown on, so do keep that in mind that there is a cooldown. But let's look at the RG stats. Like I said, about the hell is 130,000. And it looks like we have around 10,000 to stamina, 10,000 to weight, 800, 802.1 into uh, melee, 135 into movement speed. And it looks like we do have some meat in here. So my RG did kill something. Pretty much. But that is the Celestial tier, and next is your, well, Spirit tier. And this is a Spirit Wyvern. It has 349,000 into health. Uh, can I even get too close to you? You are very lightly light there, buddy. And we do have a right bike and a electric type of bike. And of course, the normal C. And then the Spirit Bomb. So, yeah. That is just awesome. I can't wait to play this mod that I got with you. Uh, Z does nothing, and that's basically it for this creature's wonderful abilities. Now, let's look at its regular stats. Uh, it has 25,000 to stamina, 40,000 into weight, 830.3 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. So yeah, we got a lot of cool things here to go over, uh, but we're almost done with going over a bunch of this cool, awesome stuff. But next creature is your Chaos creature, which I summoned in a Rex, which is my favorite thing. I'm probably going to try to tame everything as a Rex in this mod. I don't know why, I just love Rexes. But it has 385,000 into its health. And of course you can see its other stats as well. And look how cool this creature looks. Of course you got no more bite, you got the flame ability, and then you got anything for C. Yes you do! But there it is. It is. And probably leaves lava on the ground too, so that does do, do damage to other creatures. Then next thing for X or next thing for there. Yep, that is basically it for this uh, giant Rex. So let's look at his other stats. He has around 28,000 to stamina, 50,000 to weight, 946.5 into melee, and 110 into movement speed. So very awesome, very cool. Um, I do want to go over these dodos. They do have some pretty cool things for them too. We have the Chaos Dodo. Uh, 14,000 into weight, health. And to be honest, I really don't want to use any of their attacks. Especially their left attack, left, left, um, right, left click attack. Because it kills my guys at the same time. So I'm just going to show you guys the other stats that these guys do have. He has around 35,000 into stamina, 5,000 into weight, 304.7 into melee, and 300 into movement speed. So pretty quick little creatures, and you can ride these guys, so yeah. Then you have your next Dodo, the Spirit Dodo, and it has 14,000 to health. And again, I don't want to do right click ability, not right click, left a click ability because of other reasons, and they don't have no other ability, so... When they do the left click ability, they kill themselves. At least the spirit ones do. I'm not sure what the the, um, the chaos ones do, but yeah. Let's look at this guy's other stats. We have 35,000 to stem, uh, 5,000 into weight, 304.7 into melee, and 300 into movement. So yeah, that is the uh, two the. Spirit and Chaos Dodos. Next, we're going to be going over some of the bosses that you can tame. And these are just vanilla bosses. Uh, but the first one we're going to go over is the Dodo Rex. He has 140,000 into health, which is pretty nice. We can get on top of him and ride him. He does a uh, normal bike, frames, uh, anything you can see. Yes. X. Another far breath, and Z does nothing. So, as you can see, frame breath. But let's look at his other stats, shall we? So he has round 9,500 to stamina, 5,250 into weight, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And that is the Dodo Rex. A very cool, very nice looking creature, I gotta say so myself. And next is this big boy, the Dodo Reaper. He has around 54,000 to health, and because he is a Reaper, 
these things will take reduced damage from other creatures, which is pretty freaking cool. I mean, that's what Reapers normally do in vanilla, right? Yeah, even this modern creature does. So we got normal bite, we got that ability, we do have a C, X, does that, oh, that's pretty cool, and Z does nothing. So let's look at his other stats, shall we? So we got 1,602 stamina, 1,125 into weight, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. Reapers aren't the fastest creatures, but this is pretty cool. And I think he has, yes he does, he gets a jump ability, space bar. So he basically gets everything what a normal Reaper does, and a little bit more. But there is other variants of this creature, just like the Reaper, the Dodorex Dragon, the Dodo Wyvern, and all those other creatures like that and stuff. Can I please get down? Please? Please? Thank you. Next, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite bosses um, by Vanilla's like things, but you can't rate tang by Vanilla, is the Dragon. Shout out for that, guys. His health has around 95,000 into health, and which is pretty good, for if you say so about my standards. And let's go into game mode. We got the fight. We got the flame. See? Oh. I know you can't really see much with that there, guys. I'm sorry for that. I shot it twice. I'm just so excited to do this mod review. And then we got X, which does nothing, and Z does nothing. So it's just a big wolf fireball comes out of his mouth, which is pretty nice. But let's go see his other stats. He has uh, 7,500 into stamina, 3,000 into weight, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. Again, not the fastest creature, but, uh, well, it's pretty cool to have a tameable dragon in your world anyways. Because by vanilla stats, you can't really tame boss creatures. Even the Dodo Rex over there and the Dodo Wyvern. Uh, in course, you can't tame the Manticore, you and the Brew Mother and Mythopithecus and the Dragon. Uh, you're not a real boss in Ark Vanilla, you're just a magic guy. But still, it's cool to have these guys. But next, we have the Dodo Wyvern. He has 87.5 into health. Not bad, not bad, not bad, my big friend. He has a normal way to fight. He has have the electric ability. He does have the fire. And he does have the poison balls. And nothing for Zias either. But his other stats are 7,500 into stamina, 2,500 into weight, uh, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And these are just like the vanilla versions of these bosses. You can get other overpowered creatures of these bosses. So do you keep that in mind with there, guys. But that is the Dodo Wyvern. Next we have the Manticore. Really cool looking creature. Uh, really nice that uh, cool to have around with this freaking scorpion tail. But he has around 95,000 into health. And let's go into K mode. See his stacks, normal bite. We got that sting ability, C, which does the poison blob, and then normal blobs comes out, and then Z does nothing. So let's look at his other stats, shall we? So he has 7,500 into stamina, which as you can see, you can go through stamina very quickly with this guy. Uh, he got 2,750 into weight, 2,000... Not 2,000, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed for this beautiful creature, the Manticore. Uh, am I stuck? I think I am got stuck there, guys. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't want to go up that high, but whatever. Um, next is the Mythopithecus. He has a warm 150 in the house. Ooh. That is nice. And of course he has the regular smash and bad. He has the rock throw. The spin and X. And nothing in Z. So let's go look at the stats. He has around 1,000 into movement speed. Is that 1,000? No, that's 10,000 I think into movement. I mean, not movement speed, stamina. <laughs> Don't know why I'm thinking of that. He has 6,500 into weight, around 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. 
Damn, he looks cool too. He looks like a tough dude. He looks like he's ready to go for war with that chest. Oh my goodness. Next is the, 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 the one thing I really don't like, but it's the Brew Mother. <laughs> uh, the Brew Mother tricks. She has 130 in towers. I really don't like spiders too much. What do you expect out of her? I guess she's a giant spider. We got regular attack. And we have. Oh, she can summon minions. We have the sea attack, the blobs. And then we have the webbing. I'm gonna web all you guys. I'm gonna web you so you all can sit down in those chairs. <laughs> okay, so we already said about the house. She has around, uh, looks like 35,000 to stamina, 3,500 to weight, uh, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. But that is the wonderful brew mother. Yeah, 130 into health. Holy shit. Try for that. <laughs> Uh, but last but not least, this is the Skeletonized T-Rex, and this guy is from the extended um, creature mod pack, which is for the Primal Fear, uh, which is a really nice creature. And let's, I guess let's go ahead and talk about this gigantic monster. He has around 256,000 into health, and now let's go do his like abilities and stuff and get on top of him. Go into K mode. He does have a normal regular fight. A blue frame attack, which looks like it does make the area flammable. He has see. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What the? Oh. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Very powerful. Very powerful. Oh. Um, and then he has a stomp ability, which. Did it did anything? Uh, I don't think it did anything. Then Z does nothing. This guy is probably going to be like a number one creature I would definitely want to tame if I play this mod. So, yeah. But we already talked about himself. He has from 30,500 into uh, stamina, around 18,500 into weight, 802.1 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And that, boys and girls, is the wonderful, wonderful Primal Fear mod in a nutshell. And I really gotta say, guys, this mod review is very really awesome. And I think it's about the time to end up the video. Uh, it is roughly around 47 minutes long. Um, especially once I start editing the video and shorting things down and stuff. But uh, that is the Primal Fear mod on Arc Survival Evolve in a nutshell. Like I said, I didn't go over every single creature that is in the mod because I've been sitting here forever, for a long time, to going through everything that's in this. And I'd like to know, what do you guys think about my new headset? I did buy a brand new headset for uh, doing this mod review uh, for Arx by Evolve, and I'll probably talk about my new headset in a separate video by itself. But uh, <laughs> for now, guys, I really did hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, I do like to know. Are you going to plan on picking this mod up and playing it for Arc Spy Evolve, either through single player, dedicated server, your own dedicated server, or maybe you're renting a server and you're going to play with this mod? Uh, because also, if you use the upgrade station, you can make the armor and the weapons so ridiculous with durability and damage and all of that. But, guys, I'd like to know what you guys think about this mod. Do you like it? Do you play it? Do you enjoy it when you do play it? Do you play with all the expansions with this mod? Let me know in the comments down below, please. I'd like to know what you guys are thinking about Primal Fear. But that's going to be it for this video there, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.